Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you another speaker from Amazon. This is the Mok Sal. It's very similar to the UE Roll type of speaker. We're going to unbox it together and we're going to give it a sound and uh, compare it to one of my other favorite budget speakers, the SoundBot SB525. I've already uh, put up a couple videos of this one. It sounds fantastic, has a good amount of bass and it's fairly cheap. This one, I wound up paying, uh, I think, $15 for it. It was on a Lightning deal. I couldn't pass it up. Normally, they sell for around $25 or so on Amazon. But let's uh, take a look at it, see what you get, and uh, if there's anything particularly cool about it. Okay, so it's a normal box. has a little, looks like a little card with Santa on it. And on the back, it says here, I'm going to read it to you guys. It says... Mok Sal, wish you a Merry Christmas. Best wishes to you and your family. Right there. It's pretty funny. It's uh, about a month past Christmas right now. So maybe that's when this thing was packed. Actually, it looks like there's a little card in here. So let's open it up. There's a little sticker. Let's see if there's anything fun inside there. Oh, it's like a little Christmas card with nothing in it. So a month past uh, expiration, I guess you could say. But either way, you know what? It's a card, right? Okay, not a hallmark, but it's fine. All right, this is what it looks like. I got the nice teal color, uh, only because I've never had this color. It's available in a couple colors. You have regular black, blue, green, uh, and a gray color. So I figured why not get a, a teal one? I normally get you know pretty basic looking speakers like this one, usually stick to black. Um, okay, let me open this little package here and the speaker itself. Here it is. Basically almost identical in feel to the UE Roll. Um, has a okay kind of weight. Obviously it's much lighter than this one. This one has uh, I think a 2400 milliamp uh, battery. This is a 4000 and could also be used as a charge bank. So that's the reason there. Okay, let's see what else we get in the box here. It's pretty cool looking type stuff. There's actually a little bit of a surprise here from what I understand. Okay. Yeah, check this out. This is a little balloon that you inflate to kind of uh, float your speaker in the pool. So you would inflate it here, right? Let me do it. Well, I can't do it. It looks like you need to, uh, maybe it's brand new or something. Maybe there's like a thing you have to put a pump in. So I absolutely cannot inflate this at all. Air is not going through. So maybe you need like a, a basketball type pump with a little nods of a little needle to kind of push it in. But when it inflates, basically you have yourself a little pool float like that. I mean, it's quite cool. I don't think any other speaker comes with a pool float, right? And yes, this thing is waterproof. Uh, so really nothing to be worried about. It's fully kind of uh, protected with this rubberized material in the back, all your inputs and outputs are protected with a pretty heavy rubber little plug right here. And on the inside, you just have the 3.5 millimeter out and you also have your regular USB type C charge jack. Uh, so nothing crazy there. What else is kind of cool about the speaker I should mention is you have the ability of pairing two of them uh, to basically get 30 watts. So this speaker is rated at 15 watts. Um, you have a single driver here and some kind of DSP technology. We'll see with how you know how that sounds if there's really any benefit there at all. But uh, you can pair them together for stereo sound. So you actually do have stereo sound. It is not just you know basically multiplying the speaker times two. So you do wind up having two speakers and it is stereo sound. Uh, let's see what else we get in here. So you get a little container full of kind of little stuff in here. You have obviously your regular charge jack. You have your regular 3.5 millimeter headphone type jack right here. And you have a little, uh, what is this? A carabiner, I think you could say. Yeah, so basically what you would do is open it up, stick it on here into this little loop like that. Let me do it for you guys. And uh, basically just put this anywhere else, say on your backpack, on your bike, whatever you want, you can walk around with it. It's pretty convenient. Kind of like the JBL clip or the UE roll. That's what's popular about them. But really, it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, find out to see, let's find out 
what it sounds like, if it's any good, and compare it uh, against my trusty old SoundBot. Now, yes, this is a $40 speaker, but this is 25. It's not that far away. You can actually get these sometimes for 30, so they are in a similar price range. Okay, guys, so as you can tell, I have my setup going on here. I have some uh, royalty-free music to listen to. It might not be the best, but it has pretty good highs and very good lows for us to compare both of these. I was able to get this blown up, so it was just too new. I had to basically stick a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, some kind of long thing in there, and it basically opened up the air valve. So, you know, this thing floats in a pool. I mean, you know, that's pretty cool. Look at that. It's, it's really nice. So uh, that's what it is. You also have, I forgot to mention before, a little stand so you could just you know use it as a stand it's pretty cool it's pretty self uh, contained unit I mean it's a pretty functional speaker but really what it comes down to for me is what it sounds like all right so I have them both paired let me just actually put this like so and get rid of this in case it distorts in any way and we'll stand up the speaker so right now we both have it facing forward I have this one on also it's facing uh, forward so we could be equidirectional and the mic is going to be uh, this is the mic right here I'm gonna basically place it I think about three feet away from the speaker units so it doesn't distort too much okay so we're gonna start off with uh, the Moxa right here and uh, basically we're set at about let me show you guys this is where we are on the volume so it's about 70% on both of them. Uh, I figure that's a really good volume to listen at. Okay, here we go. So right now we have a sound bot playing. We're gonna raise the volume up to about Okay guys, so you heard that, that was pretty uh, pretty in-depth demonstration there, two different volume levels, about 70% and about 90 I normally don't go to 100 because uh, there's just too much distortion and the quality it sounds pretty bad. Um, what I could say about this is it has a very deep tone, sounds very similar to a JBL Charge 2 speaker, and this one is honestly louder. I was very surprised, I don't know if you heard that through the audio, the, the, the pickup I was using, but this was very loud. But of course, it's it's nowhere close to in bass. So it really lacks a lot of bass, even though they claim that it has a great bass, it really doesn't. But it's not the worst speaker I've heard. For 15 bucks, even 25, this is not a bad deal. It's ultra portable, it's cool looking, it's very lightweight, it has fairly good battery life with a 2600 hour milliamp or 2500 hour milliamp battery. Uh, and you have this cool carabiner. I mean, it, it is nice, it's waterproof. So, I mean, you still can't go wrong with this if you can get it on a lightning deal for around $15, but even $25 is not bad. But this speaker is, is still one of my favorites just because it just has so much bass. And yes, I am a bass head. Uh, that is what I look for in speakers. Uh, there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please let me know. I always do my best to try to get back to my audience. Thanks.